as you can see, me and Sarah, we both. <laughs> <laughs> we are testing our new camera, which is Sony ZV-1. That's this one here. And when I point at this one, Sarah, we're looking at this one. That's the Canon G7X Mark II. And, um... Beautiful this, weather today. I know, ZV-1, um... We are using the, uh, smooth skin, medium level. More clear, Sarah, can you see? I which, think both is about the same. Both about the same, okay. And, um... I said the uh, standard is not uh, the st stabilization is in standard, so I don't know how uh, shaky that is. I didn't turn it on active because I didn't want the uh, cropped in. So, and we're both using like Sarah, so you, I'm using this selfie stick. Let's see. All right, so earlier we have some technical difficulty because memory card ran out so i had to delete some footage but right now this one is g7x mark ii talk because there uh the sony zv1 is better because the microphone is much better so sarah can talk even the camera itself is beautiful it's I a know, white color I know. white color <laughs> and you can see i purposely bought this white tripod if you can see it right here this one, right? Can I, I got this rig right here, so it's easier to uh, put your battery in and out. And I don't have a long selfie stick, so I'm using just a regular. So Sarah, what do you think so far? It's cool, man. I like this white camera. It's so sleek and just and, so modern. Right, and I just want to let you guys know, this was my second, second Sony camera my very first sony digital camera was 23 years ago and i was so reluctant buying another sony camera until i see this one zv hello zv1 it's because the price is some it's something that i you know i think it's reasonable reasonable and of course i still think Canon G7X Mark II is a great camera, however, there is no mic input. That's why I decided to go uh, to a, a different camera. This compact one uh, has the mic input. Of course, we're not using the external mic right now. We're just using the uh, internal mic. Yeah, so what do you guys think? This is, well, I know Sarah and I, we, we're not, we a big, huge difference on, in height. But, <laughs> but I just thought that I'd give you guys a uh, you know, a comparison and uh, just to see how steady, see how steady um, both camera just do a little comparison and yeah, we just want to walk in the neighborhood. It's just so nice and not windy. It's just, I think it's in the seven or in the high high sixties. A beautiful weather to be out to walk around, do some testing. Yes, and then we are going to turn off the, stop the recording right now and I'm going to turn on the active uh, stabilization, just give, stabilization, just give you guys, um, you know, a feel of, you know, if you turn on the active stabilization. So just give me a second. All right, so we just turn on the active. Can you see, Sarah, is it cropping now? Your face is a lot bigger. Yeah. A lot see. bigger feels fatter. Now, so now the Sony ZV-1, we just turn on the active stabilization and Sarah's face definitely cropping a lot more. So, okay, let's continue walking just to see if it's really stabilized and is it really, what do you think? Is it, we're gonna look at the footage later and just to, see how stable this is and a lot of uh you know people out there users will buy the wide angle lens to put on the zv1 however i i don't feel the need to do that because i don't want to put in a permanent adapter on the camera so i didn't i didn't want to do that i kind of feel like i don't know i kind of feel like that is brighter i mean what do you guys think the zv1 is a lot brighter than my Canon G7X Mark II. And the Canon G7X Mark II currently, I think it's $499 plus tax. And for the uh, Sony ZV-1 is $799 plus tax. And Sony camera always costs a little bit more. So it really depends. And 
I heard a lot of people say Sony camera uh, menu function is very user unfriendly. For me, it's okay. But one good thing about the Sony Z1 is there is no time limit recording. You can unlimited recording as long as you have the battery. Be careful mm -hmm. right here. As long as you have the battery, as long as you have the memory space. So that's a good pro. Where the G7X Mark II, you can only record 15 minutes. So that's the difference. And uh, of course, G7X Mark II is an older model. There is a G7X Mark III on the market. I don't know the price. But what do you think, Sarah? Yes. All right, so I'm going to hold in both. <laughs> My arms are very sore right now. I think G7X Mark II is heavier than Sony ZV-1. And Sarah, what do you think? What do you Very think? nice. I just like... She love it. She just... I always make a judgment on the cover. The white camera is just... <laughs> <laughs> suits my taste. I like it. I know. And now this one, like I said, this is the active stabilization. We had the stabilization turned on to active. Yeah, in earlier footage, it was just standard. All right. So we just take a couple of pictures earlier. So now we're continuing. I just turn off ZV-1, the active mode to standard. We, did, we don't want to completely turn off. And if you can see the lights in the front, do you see the lights in the front is red? That tells you it's recording, which is great because on the G7X Mark II, there is a record button on the screen, which is great, right? See how you see it? Yes. So it's good. But some camera do not have any indica uh, indicator. So sometimes you don't even know you're actually recording or not. So yeah, we're going to make a turn. Wow, look. So see, bright. So bright. See, ZV-1 is great. The AMD filter with this one, the AMD filter is also. But see, as you can see, yeah. we walk the face with ZV-1. can even from dark to bright, still pretty good. But with, but with Canon G7X Mark II. But this is the older model. That's the older model, of course. That's why. So uh, you guys be the judge to see whether it's worth do the upgrade to the ZV-1 or you just want to wait it out. Uh, you know, I think seven G7X Mark II is still a great camera. We're just having a great time, you know, doing this vlog for you guys, a comparison for you guys. So yeah, okay, I guess this is it, and our test is over, and, that's, oop, and that's, ooh, that's, that is so bright, so bright. Let's go to this corner, and alrighty, so this concludes our look, and Sarah, can she see? Ooh, this Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> yeah, so uh, comment below, let me think. And let me know who's the winner, G7X Mark II or Sony ZV-1. Which one is your uh, pick. pick and your favorite? Bye!